to the channel, guys. As you can see, we are not in a fake race car, at a fake racetrack, doing real racing today. No, this is a little something different. So uh, the schedule came out the other day, and I finally had time to sit down, look at it, and uh, have been thinking about what I wanted to run next season for a little while, uh, for really like the last, I don't know, 10 weeks of the last 12-week season. Because <laughs> last season was a bit of a stressful one, especially those first like eight weeks. Those were not fun eight weeks, and I was already starting to look ahead to season four. Well, season four is here. We finally have the schedule, and uh, on Monday, things are going to get kicked off. So I wanted to make a short video just to let everybody know what I was going to be racing and what you can find me in. Uh, I'll let you kind of know like the times I'm thinking of running this stuff. Uh, sometimes that will change up. Sometimes it doesn't. But uh, and now I'll link the schedule for everything down in the uh, in the description. So if you haven't seen the schedule for season four, just look down in the description, click that link, and it will take you to a PDF file that is the full season schedule for everything on iRacing, every series that's going to launch. So there is some new content. Um, I don't believe it is content that I will be racing, but I'm not quite sure yet. So I'll get into that after we go through what officials I'm going to run. So as you may see here, NASCAR Legends. We're going back, baby. We're running the NASCAR Legends full season, four points. Yes, you heard that correctly, four points. So I have been out of the Legends car for a bit went back to it at uh i guess nashville had some good runs there and then um followed it up with the uh, the win you guys may have seen if, if you haven't seen it i'll link that video as well um but got back in the legends car at legacy charlotte and i was able to get a win and that was the first video back from a little hiatus i had to take from recording and posting and even racing some i really didn't get to race it terribly much but so yeah, we're going to run the Legends, four points. This is going to be the main focus. I'm going to try to run all of the strength of field races. Um, that's the first time slot. I believe it's 7 o'clock on Monday, 7 central on Monday. So I'm going to try to run all of those um, the full season. I probably won't make all of the strength of field races just because things come up. And uh, but I should always be able to find probably a good strength of field and score some points. So this is the series of focus this upcoming season you see week one we have iowa then auto club and i'm super excited for I the auto club rocking cam not my best track um i think i have won there before i think i won in a arca race there but not my best track hopefully we have some good runs um chicago speedway yeah chicago land that'll be fun i don't know about this we'll see if i run daytona uh 08 I honestly doubt it but we'll see. I know I'm, I, I'm maybe more likely to run Talladega, which is, I think is week 12, than this. But we will see. And week four here, this is most sport. Um, I own most sport, but I just don't know that I'm going to run it in the 87s. So we'll see. This is more, I'm going to try to run all the ones that you see pictured, with the exception of maybe not this one. Um, and I may try to run these three just for the hell of it. So we'll see what happens. But then we go to North Wilkesboro. Indy Legacy, Atlanta Legacy, Richmond. And this is one I'm going to have circled on the calendar because I always feel like I have really good runs at Richmond. I always tend to do well and uh, hopefully have a good showing at Richmond. I'm going to put that one circle on the calendar. Um, Legacy Pocono. I will be bad here. I will be very bad here, but we'll run it. And then uh, this Talladega week, probably going to skip it. And then Dover International Speedway to close out the season. So on to the second Oval Series I'll be running this season, and that is ARCA. And I had thought about taking a season off of ARCA. I was almost dead set that I wasn't going to run ARCA this season, but I kind of really like the schedule. So I think, I think I'm going to run it. I think I'm going to run the whole schedule. So this is Charlotte, New Charlotte. Then we're going to go to my... Is that? I don't remember. You would think I would have all this stuff memorized. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, that's the oval. So in the oval, not terribly scary. This could very well end up being an NA. As a matter of fact, I may go ahead 
we may just go ahead and put that as a because I don't really like Indie Oval, and I doubt that I'm going to run it. Um, so Charlotte, New Charlotte, Irwindale. I think this is one of the first strikes I ever want to add on Oval, uh, or just period, actually. So looking forward to Irwindale. That'll be a lot of fun. Hopefully I have a good run there. Atlanta. Motor Speedway, that's 2008 Legacy Atlanta. I would never run New Atlanta because I don't hate myself. Lanier, um, that's going to be wild. That's going to be a wild one. And then I'm really excited for Darlington. I feel like I've gotten a lot better at Darlington. I feel like I've kind of figured out my line there and how to get around the track without destroying tires while still making decent speed. So looking forward to that one. Probably going to put a circle on it. Hopefully we do well. Oswego, I haven't bought this yet, so I don't know if I'll run it, uh, but I did go ahead and put it on here because I, th I think it's worth buying just because it's got a dirt track with it as well. So looking to probably run that, but not quite sure. Uh, I believe this is Legacy Texas. And then this is Daytona Road. So that'll be interesting running to the road course at Daytona with the, with the ARCA cars. Then we go to Langley, Homestead. I don't remember what this, let's go back. Right here. Oh, Monza Oval. Yeah, absolutely not running that. Um, and then closing out the season at Iowa. So I think I'm going to try to stay on the front page still for ARCA. I think that's going to be a goal, but it's going to be a secondary goal. The real goal is going to be trying to finish top 15 in Legends. And I think that's I think that's achievable. I think I can be a top 15 driver in Legends. Um, and then it would be nice to stay on the front page in ARCA, but I'm not going to get to run any strength of fields because i'm going to focus on legends if i can do a strength of field race which i think we ended up in on the front page uh i finished 20th by the way in arcus standings this season so that was great uh but i i think i only ran like two strength of field races the entire season because i i usually don't have the time to run uh that time slot but i think i think we ran two this season and still finished 20th so hopefully we can do that we usually get a good strength of field race uh, or a, a decently high strength of field um session on fridays and saturdays so hopefully we can maintain that and i can still score a lot of points but moving on to something very new and this is the big new thing that i'm doing on the oval side this season i have just bought the oval car the indy car i have never raced it i did do the 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 indy car shakedown that's currently in, at week 13 um and i made it half a lap at Road America, so not even an oval, uh, before I just got annihilated by people. But that's fine, because uh, we're not going to do road courses. This is all oval. So this is the IndyCar Oval Fix Series. The races are pretty long. I want to say Milwaukee was like 100 laps. Um, I think the last mile and a half I saw, that it wasn't Las Vegas, but I think this would be like 75 laps, something like that. That's what they were doing at Charlotte this week was 75 lap race. So. This will be interesting. I have a lot to learn on this, so we'll kind of have to play it by ear. I don't know that I'll run all of these, but I want to try to run them all. Uh, I'm going to lose I rating in this series, guaranteed. Just a guarantee. I am going to lose I rating. I don't know what I'm doing, but I want to learn. And I was avoiding running this for a long time because I was worried about losing I rating, and that's stupid. So if I lose I rating, I can get it back and Legends, Arca, and be open. So why why not run something like you pay a lot of money for this game, right? Like do stuff that interests you. Don't worry about fake imaginary numbers that mean nothing. But this one right here, definitely not going to run this. This is iRacing Super Speedway on week 13. So absolutely not running that. But I will try to run a full participation of these. Um, we'll kind of have to see how it goes. So I own all of these tracks already. They'll be a lot of fun. Uh, maybe other than Milwaukee Mile, which I, I hate that track. So yeah. May not run that one, but probably will definitely run at least eight of these this season. And the last, and I'll get into this a little bit. The last Oval Series I'm looking to do this season is the Xfinity Series. But I don't know, because I'm a little frustrated. Uh, there was a, a slight B-car update that has broken all of the sets. So I, uh, some of you may know I pay for Conti sets uh, to run Xfinity with. Uh, just, you know, whatever. I like to have a decent set and go out and try to be competitive. And um, in this series, quite frankly, you're not going to... Unless you have a lot of time on your hands, you're not going to build a set that can be competitive in the fields that I'll be at. And that's fine. I don't, you know... It, it doesn't really matter that much, but I like being competitive and I enjoy the series and I think the racing is really good up front. So I try to be there. And that requires me putting in effort with practice and also buying sets. 
But now that I have a full season's worth almost of sets, and they've done a little change that wasn't even a physics change to the car, um, part of me feels like they're in like cahoots with the setup shops. So the setup shops get iRacing to do little updates like this that break sets so that I can't stockpile them and then not pay for sets next year. So I don't know. I'm, a, I'm feeling a little bitter right now about Be Open. I feel like I spend the Conti sets are very expensive and I may not be running Conti anymore, especially if I'm not going to be able to stockpile them if they're going to change sets all the time and things are going to change. I'm not going to. I'm, I'm absolutely not going to pay for Conti sets if I can't use them for more than one season. So I don't know. Got some thinking to do about that. That, that wound is still a little fresh, so I don't quite know what I want to do. But as you can see here, the. Um, season actually ends the regular nis season on week nine and then after that it should be dover auto club charlotte because that's what the fixed series is going to run these sweet three weeks and it doesn't show anything for the bu and series after week nine but the fix doesn't have a week 13 on the schedule so i don't really know what's going on there something they'll have to fix but to be determined if i'm done with the be open if i'm done with be open i'm done with open series period i just won't run open series i'll run Legends Arca Indie Oval. That sounds like a lot of fun. They're all fixed. I don't have to worry about sets. Uh, you know, so we'll see. And now for this. And guys, I'm telling you. I have just regressed so much as a road driver, and it's been very frustrating for two seasons. So you may not see any of these road races, but I am going to run them. Um, and I'm going to try to get better. But my eye rating is just tanked. Like, I'm down into the 1200s. I was a 1700 road, rate, road driver before I started really trying to get better at road. And then I started trying to get better at road, turned off the line, you know, started driving faster cars. And now I'm just I'm dog shit. I'm so bad. And it has really gotten to me. It's been two seasons of it. And uh, I'm hoping that eventually to turn around and just keep my head down and keep pounding away and keep practicing and trying to get better. And eventually something will have to click. But I am getting to a point that I need that something to click or some sign of life, like probably about the end of the season, because I'm sacrificing a lot of time that I could be practicing to get to, you know, 5K or whatever on like, Oval. Practicing, I'm losing a lot of time practicing for road to get that I could be using to get better at oval. And uh, if I'm not having fun, like if I'm crashing out of all the time, I'm just can't control the car, can't make lap time at all, which I can't. Eventually, I'm going to throw in the towel, and I don't want to, but I'm hoping that this season something kind of clicks, get some sort of aha moment that i can finally make some speed get up and stay consistently above 1500 i rating um, if i can do that i'll consider it a win but we're just gonna have to see luckily i do own i'm not gonna pay for i'm not gonna buy any tracks for this series but luckily i don't have to because i own all of these already maybe maybe i don't own circuit that word um, I actually don't think I do. So that one may be an NA, but I have enough to run for full participation. So we're going to give it a try and see what happens. Uh, like I said, hopefully seeing some growth this season. Really hope so. Moving on to the Pilot Challenge. So if you don't know what Pilot Challenge is, it is the GT4 cars and uh, TCR cars. And they race every two weeks. It's a two-hour race. No teams, just two-hour race. And uh, like I said, every two weeks, and I own five of the six car tracks that they're going to this season. So we're gonna we're gonna do this. I enjoy this series a lot. If there's one oval se or road series I enjoy a lot. It's this one because it's a long race. It requires two pit stops. Um, most of the time it pr requires two pit stops, and it's just you know it's fun. I like long races. I like trying to stay alive for a long time and usually it works out with a lot of SR. So I'm gonna run this five of the six and I guess we'll go for points in our division. Maybe we'll be able to do that. I don't think so, but we'll see. And uh lastly but not leastly it's not uh, how you say that ringmeister. So I'm terrible at freaking the ring. I'm so bad. I'm so freaking bad at it. But hopefully this season 
going to get better at it because I've got it on the schedule five times. So we're going to run the GT4s when they go, the GT3s when they go. I don't own a TCR, but I've been thinking about buying one. So if I do buy one, we'll do the TCRs. And then these two are kind of exciting, the cup car and the street sock, both going in 11 and 12, weeks 11 and 12. So that'd be cool to do Ringmeister in the cup car and the street sock. I think I wanted to do the street sock when they went two seasons ago, but I, I think I missed that week or something. But at any rate, that is what I'm going to be running this season. And uh, as far as times, like like I said, I'm going to try to do all the strength of field races. So 7 Central on Monday afternoons for the Legends. ARCA, I'm probably going to run Tuesday nights at 745 Central. That's probably going to be the time slot I shoot for for there. Uh, Indy Oval, I have to think about a bit. Probably going to be a Sunday morning race. Um Kind of depends on how the weeks shape up. This is not going to be a primary series for me, so I'm not going to like sacrifice Arca and Legends um, time slots to run the Indie Oval. It's going to be one of those things I want to run, but I want to make sure I have time to. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, be open. It, this may be a Friday night thing. I may do this every Friday night or Sunday morning, one of the two. Be open. I don't know. I'm honestly leaning towards not doing Be open anymore. But I don't know. We'll see. We will just have to see how B Open works out. GT Sprints, this is one of those things, dude. I don't know when I'm going to run this every week, but most likely it's going to be Sunday nights. Sunday nights or Saturday nights, that's probably going to be when I want to do my road course racing just because I have time during it, when I have time during the day, during the weekends, and get on practice, get some laps into these tracks, and then try to, you know. Get around and survive so IMSA, these imsa pilot challenge only has uh four time slots total so there's one i believe friday night my time saturday morning no what is it maybe five time slots i know there's one saturday morning saturday afternoon sunday morning and i'm pretty sure there's one sunday afternoon but i'm not sure but if, of all those i'm probably going to try to run either the saturday morning or the saturday night depending on how it goes. The Saturday morning starts at 10 o'clock for me. Sometimes I'm here around that time. Sometimes I don't do much on Saturdays. Sometimes I do a ton on Saturdays. So, eh, whatever. Ringmeister, this is going to be definitely like middle of the week thing. So, uh, I'm going to run this with Justin. This is going to be a, a community event with uh, Justin and some of the guys in Discord that you hear me talking to sometimes. So, this would just kind of be whenever it fits into people's schedule and I'll move stuff around. So, with that being said, that's all I got, guys. That's what I'm running. Hope uh, hope this is something you found interesting. You know, if, let me know in the comments what you're running this season. Uh, and if you make races with me, you know, if, let me know. Show, throw out a, a hay or something. Uh, you know, I've had a cool experience with meeting a couple of people who view that I, like I, I didn't know from my Discord connections or anything, like just genuine viewers or whatever. Uh, and that was really cool. That was really like rewarding, and I appreciated that. So if you see me out there, throw me a hey, tell me what's up. I'll shoot you a good luck, and uh, maybe we'll be in the same race. So let me know what you guys are racing. Let me know what you want to see me race. I'm not going to promise that I'll do it. Um, let me know what you think about this schedule. Uh, I think that this is pretty good. I don't think I'm going to do any dirt oval. I, I just I'm tired of dirt oval racing on the sim because it's bad. It's just bad. It's terrible. Um, dirt road is eh. And then Formula Car, eh, whatever. I might do some IndyCar fixed at road races, but that's not... It's just going to be the, some of those thing, times that... I don't even know if I'll post that. Like, oh, it's maybe just something I'll run for my own time. But let me know, guys. And uh, yeah, we will see you out there. Thank you so much for watching. I would appreciate a like, a subscribe, and a comment if you found it interesting. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.